Welcome to Andy Entertainment Corner. Good day everyone. In this video we'll be continuing my RPG game collection. Yes, this is a little bit late than I wanted, but I have thought I'd do this one now. And this is the, my PC RPG collection. Okay, starting off with Never Winter Nights. Yeah, pretty cool one. And I also got this one as well. Never Winter Night 2. Next is the Temple of Elemental Evil. A classic. Greyhawk Adventure. Yep. Cool. Yeah, it's a second hand. Yeah, pretty cool. RPG Heaven. <laughs> and this is gonna go to the flat. Next is. Yeah. A Gorian. Of string work and magic of obscure. How you pronounce that? But this is from um, Syria. And it's been called, you know, the RPG game of the year. It pretty cool. Old style of. Bolder Gate style adventure game. I mean, RPG game, yeah. And open fluff. Pretty cool. I, like, I really like the old big box games on PC. What I don't do anymore. Nox. Pretty cool. Pretty cool adventure, actor packed, so and multiplayer up to 32 players. And this one's from Westwood Studios. Yeah, that's pretty goes back a while. Fast pace action set in a land filled with discovery and deceit. And it says. Action adventure, so now action RPG, sorry, not and second hand game. Didn't know about that game until I bought it. <sighs> Vampire the Redemption, nice great redemption, and it came with a book. The book was right there. <laughs> That's why I looked a bit ripped, and yeah. Pretty cool game. You team up with a couple other players to help you in your in your adventure. But four three other players to help you on your adventure. Yeah first of all you're a knight for for you know for God who comes to vampire. Yeah, it's set back in the old medieval times. And I believe it leads up to um normal times, if I remember correct. And play that far for a while, so pretty cool game. Last of the big boxes, I've got Darkstone. It is this all on PlayStation as well, so it. This is from DSI. Oh, Dolphin. The company who bought you those, um. 
Another world and flashback. Yeah, two games. Pretty cool. Yeah. That's the end of those big boxes. Now. I did have a box for this one time, but I don't know where it happened to it. It's relevant. I, I didn't see it. It is all. Yeah. This is this. I took apart a um, steel case. Two discs. Been thought. Ah, uh, Somerset. Yeah. Have a score line, Somerset. Gear Walls, two. Which are free, Game Year Edition. Love it. Pretty cool game, this. I haven't got far into it, but it's pretty big. The Gothic 1 to 3 Universe. Here to contain all the Gothic games up to 3. Not the fourth one though. But I do have four on in digital though. Which I got from um, GOG. More in Game of the Year this year. From the Fantasy 14 Online. This is a good one. This is not the one that the first will well, I've and this also came with Heavenward. Yeah. So a realm so includes a realm reborn and heaven, heaven's ward. Heaven play four. I had to get back to it, but they had some good, you know, fun missions that you could do with fun and fantasy. Pretty cool. But the best of team of people they go into the dungeons, you know. Can't do it otherwise. Life Remnant. This was on Xbox 360 as well, but yep, I found this in Dungeon Crawl, which is we used to be a um distrib game is distributed right here in Melbourne. But they closed the shop and then they can get gain online now. But they're really bare bone now. Quite disappointing. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game. Fallout 4, um, gave me a dish. Love it. Very good. I think it's the best four game so far. Yeah, I think it's just a single case of Gothic 2. <laughs> yeah, it's in my pile, so. Heaven Gate London, either online or single play, but online is now discontinued because the game is pretty old now. And out of school, online, original, and Morrowind. Spellforce Universe, they come with all the Spellforce 1 to 2. With all the expansions, yeah, like American American version, two worlds, now an American import, Soul Reaver two. It's more of an adventure game, but it's got average elements, which I like, and I got. Mage, not a clock for so clock, clock, apocalypse, yeah, apocalypse, sorry. That's all. And this is the original Morrowind, which I put a while back. Yeah. in another big box but Diablo 1 and 2 Battle Chess 
yeah pretty cool I love this this comes with um, also comes with um, strategy guides for the games pretty cool The Witcher original, a can edition. Love it. And look, I got two, which I got off GOG, which is also the enhanced edition. This is good, but yeah, the, the controls are quite tricky at first. I, I find the best control is the second one. But the third, I reckon, got even better control, so. Yeah. I have finished this. Pretty cool. Enhanced shows the graphics are a little bit are much better than the original. It out Modern Magic Arm Seven. Here we got a big box, but again, it's elsewhere. Hiding in one of my boxes somewhere. Septilia Core Legacy of of the Creator. You just have to box by throw it out because we'll take a nice space and neither would just some clutter. This is just a copy version I had. Ellen Ox, very good very, very good um science fiction RBG. This is amazing game. One of the best I played. You got a lot of team members, you know, to help you yeah, they're all the team members that, that join you. And this got this little, this guy here, the one in the beard, he turned out to be the villain of the game. Which was the biggest twist I've ever seen. Wicked and worries. Could be either RTS or Warfare, I'm not really sure. Land of Law 2, Guardian of Destiny. Well, I mean, Legends of the Arcane. I'm not sure I actually took the box or not. I'm not sure if this was second hand or new. Come here, it's been a while. Fallout, New Vegas. Pretty cool, finished it. Game edition is better though because it gives you more areas to explore. Arrow score four oblivion, game edition. When the game has got you know give you new areas to explore, which I quite enjoyed. A lot of hours into this. Lot of hours. Skyrim Legendary Edition, which comes with all the DLCs, expansions. Yes, I got it on PS4 as well, which is the um, remastered edition, which I played to death on my PS4. And this is the uh, DSX, DSXO, Invisible War. But this is the second game in the in that series. This is the um. Sequel to the game, oh yeah, cookies. America version, see the box. Get a box, who cares. This contains every single Ultima collection. One to nine. This disc here, 1 to 8, and this is a soundtrack to number 9, pretty cool. 9, uh, very bad game, but I go for sale buying it. No, nothing on it. Soundtrack for for Border Gates and Border Gate One. 
Yep. The look at comes with um The original also comes with, uh, I believe it came with um, expansion as well. They can quite sound the disc. Remember right on the box, it, which I got somewhere, comes with that expansion. The original disc X never came with a box. They actually bought this, this came with a group of, with a set of speakers I bought, which came, also came with a sound card. Nice set of speakers at the time, 5.1 sound. My and Magic 6, the mandate of heaven. Yeah, um, this comes with, is a box with, um, yeah. Boxes elsewhere, can't remember what one. Wizardry 8, I think I won the game. This, this, this comes from the box, sorry, but the box is elsewhere. My Might and Magic 7, 8, sorry. Day of the Destroyer. So, yep, came with the same box with 6, 7, and 8. Vampires, the Masquerade Bloodlines, the second game to the Vampire, the Masquerade games. Pretty cool. So, um, yeah. Dark Messiah, Might and Magic. Yeah, it's all right. You can either play online with other people or single player. <clears throat> this game is um, no longer. This game is to continue online, and which is Warhammer Edo Reckoning. But you can play this on private servers, in which some people have managed to get the original game. And bring it back on private service. We have that uh, because I've gone back to playing this again. Dragon Age Origins, the first game. It pickle this free downloadable content inside. The Stone Prisoner, Unlockable Bonus Quest, and Unlockable Character Soul. Downloadable. Downloadable uh, Dragon Blood Armor, both for both Dragon Age Origin and upcoming Mass Effect 2. Yes, up oh, on, on Origin. Oh, Origins, which is, I got all the, um, yeah, the Mass Effect games. <clears throat> yeah. No disc, you had to download it. Pretty cool. Right. Okay, to the more MM, MMRPG games, which are Age of Conan, Hydro Avent, Obon Adventure, sorry, hey. Benanta, I also got all, all the expansions which I bought off the, um, Phone con, so I mean, server. I mean, no, yeah, home page or yeah, pretty, not bad. Improve over time. Still fun. If you like, um, if you like Conan the Barbarian, the Secret World. This is now 
change to another title which is I think so and this is also from Funcom EA now Guild Wars and an all the expansions Nightfall Factions and and I of the North expansions. All the other game, the two other games here, oh, can be played separately without the original game. I have finished this nearly. The like mission is pretty hard. And when they're going back to hurry anyone who's playing in them or so they all gonna have the Guild War 2. It gets understandable. Now I like of all to buy the biggest of the lot. All the World of Warcraft game current the one I've got. Original Burning Crusade Wrath of the Lynch King Kasashi Kasashi and all hey pronunciation so you know with the big dragon that comes to destroy Miss of Pandaria and Warlord of Drindle or hey pronunciation and also I got the other other one, but I haven't got the current, haven't got the current, haven't got the um the latest very la, la, latest one though. But I haven't got the box for the second last one that came out. And for last of all, night shift. Thank you for watching this video. Um, this is um, this, the second last um, show for RPG games. Next is Sega. And that will be coming shortly. Alright. Bye for now. Thank you for checking out my PC RPG collection. If you like what you've seen, give me a like and post your comments and if you're new to my channel, great. Join the family and subscribe to my channel.